So here's one of the biggest objections I get from people who want to write a book, but they haven't actually got it started. So maybe they don't out and out voice this, but this fear crops up in a whole bunch of ways in, in what, they're, what they're not saying. So the fear is, what if I start in on this book? What if I even finish this book and it's an epic fail? Like I either fail to finish the book or I put this book out there and it gets lost like a needle in the haystack on Amazon or three people in its entire lifetime buy this book or worse, this is a book that practically crucifies my professional reputation. And you know, this, this fear is a legitimate fear, right? Because if you're in business, if you're interested in writing prescriptive nonfiction books, you've seen failures, right? You've seen the business book that looks totally DIY. You have seen the dressed up autobiography that's supposedly a business book, but it's not a business book. Or you've seen somebody's random musings and you get through like page three and you cannot figure out what's in it for you to spend the next four hours of your life reading this book, right? So that, that would be classified in my mind as a failure. Yep, you've got the, you've ticked the box. You are an official author, maybe even a best-selling Amazon, Amazon best-selling author, but the book's a failure. So really there are two ways to prevent this and we have to prevent this from happening, right? This fear is legitimate. It's not like you're crazy. So number one, it's understanding the writing process. Typically what happens with with a lot of business writers is they don't understand the process and they're operating on, let's get this done, let's get this done fast. And they're releasing a book long before the book should be released. They're, they're, they don't understand the process, they don't understand the revision, what, what's necessary in revision and what's necessary in editing and all that, right? That can be taken care of. And number two is they don't start the writing journey off on the right foot. They don't in fact know who their reader is. They don't know the outcome that their reader is after. They don't understand what the reader wants. They don't know what the reader believes is their problem, the, the very thing that you are attempting to help them solve in a prescriptive nonfiction book. They don't understand the reader at all, what the reader wants, what, what the mistakes in belief or their mistakes in actions are, are you know, creating this problem that you're gonna help them solve. Like there is zero understanding of the reader and then you know, there we are writing a book hoping to, you know, to, to impact their lives and how do you impact lives if you don't understand them, if you don't understand what they want? If you are not curating your content to speak to that problem, to speak to your very unique solution, to speak to your core message, what, you know, what your reader will get once they're finished with this book, what new understanding or what new framework or what new action or what new strategy will they walk away with when they're done with their book? So without that front-loading understanding, sitting down and writing a book is almost always gonna yield you a failure without a lot of intervention at some point in the editing process or the, you know, the publish, publishing process. So understand the process, know that it's not like a get or done kind of thing, and you gotta understand your reader and what they want and and how you are going to attempt to solve that problem or resolve that problem for them in some unique way. Hope that helps.